What is going on, y'all? Welcome back to the YouTube channel, man. Today, I have a great topic that I feel like we should all talk about. Bike life is changing right in front of our eyes, and I've noticed this within the past year. All of the goaded BMX riders are switching over to electric bikes. I think it's really great. I think it's different. I think it sparks something new within the community, and it gives these kids an opportunity to level up and learn something new. If you guys don't know me, my name is Shakar. I'm from Los Angeles, California. I'm a professional stunt rider. My sponsors include but are not limited to Throne Cycles, GoPro, Two Wheel Gang, JT Racing, and more to come. I've been riding BMX since 2018, but I've been a part of Bike Life since I don't know, 2016, I believe, when I started working on mopeds in LA and motorized bikes and stuff like that. So I've been a part of the culture for a very long time and I've seen the shifts that has happened over these years. And I'd say within the past year or two, e-bikes have surfaced so much more. You don't have to worry about gas. You could just recharge. It's not loud. It's not obnoxious. You could ride it at any time of the day and nobody will know you exist, which kind of can be a double-edged sword because obviously on a motorcycle, people can hear you, people can watch out for you when you're in traffic and stuff like that but besides that you're not disturbing the peace people aren't worried about a loud ass motorcycle riding by in their neighborhood you can ride it at any time of the night that's one of the positives i feel like it's less maintenance for people as well when you have an electric bike you don't have to worry about engine gas valves all that stuff so all you got to do is just charge it up make sure your brakes are good make sure your bolts are tightened and you got to do your daily maintenance of course still i won't say that one is better than the other what i will say is that it depends on who you are and what you're using that tool for I personally will always stand by a gas bike. I mean, nothing ever beats gas just because I love the smell of gas, especially a two stroke, mixing the oil, shaking it up, brent, 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 like all that. You feel me? Like it's just different. It's a whole different vibe. I love it. But electric is also amazing, man. So I feel like it's progressing our culture in a great way. Now, there's always going to be those haters out there that are like, oh, e bikes are ugh, they're trash, this, this, and this. Okay, cool. If you don't like an e bike, well, don't get one. And don't watch our videos. Just stay away from us if you don't like e-bikes. I am bike life. I'm a part of this culture, so I like everything that has to do with two wheels. I don't care if you got a mini bike. I don't care if you got a chopper, a Harley. I don't care if you're the lemon squeeze bandit. If all you got is trash ass bikes, but you got two wheels and you're outside riding with us, let's fucking go. Let's get it cracking. I don't give a fuck. I myself just got me a brand new Throne Serpent, which is an electric bike, another bike that just hit the market. And we are actually the first BMX company in the world to create our own electric bicycle that people are gonna soon flock to. We're also seeing the e-bikes pull up to the pedal bike ride outs. And guess what? The e-bikes are fast, but they're not as obnoxious as a dirt bike or any other motorcycle. So it kind of works hand in hand having a pedal bike and an e-bike because it's still small and nimble in a way. It's a little bit bigger and heavier, but it's still a smaller bike and it's just so much fun, man. I've been having my e-bike now for maybe three weeks and I've been riding it every fucking day. It is so fun. It's so smooth. It actually reminds me of having a two stroke bike because there's absolutely no engine braking at all. So when you pop that wheel, and you in that balance point and you just cruising, man, does that bike wanna float like crazy. So I really love it a lot. Whatever these people wanna do to help shape the culture, as long as it's positive, I'ma always stand by it. I've been following Saronster on YouTube for a while now, and I think honestly, he single-handedly helped blow up the whole e-bike market with his custom builds, his crazy races, his crazy customizations. His videos are amazing, and he's exposing bike life to a whole new realm. And we need people like that. And this is why I'm here to talk about this, because I don't think anybody's highlighting the fact that bike life is literally changing in front of our eyes. My homeboy from Los Angeles, his name is Bike Life Tweez. He's been on a Suron for maybe a little bit over a year. Now he is the pedal bike goat. Honestly, he's got one of the best styles I've ever seen. This is a conversation that I had with him. As soon as he got on that e-bike, he's like, oh, I'm not gonna go back to a pedal bike. Why would you? What's the point? You've already spent so many years mastering all of your tricks on a pedal bike. Now you got an electric bike and you're doing all of those tricks that you did on a pedal bike on an electric bike. I think an e-bike is just way more fun than a pedal bike. You can go further. It's a feeling that I can't really explain. Since Tweez got his e-bike, I was like, yo, bro, I'm gonna get one. I'm gonna get one. I'm gonna get one. I'm gonna get one. I finally now, after a year plus, I actually got one, which is 
amazing. Coincidentally, my sponsor, Throwing Cycles, they came out with a bike and I was like, oh, let me get on that ASAP. Yeah, I need that. We got old blocks on the e-bike now. Fam got an e-bike. Why not Chris got an e-bike? Everybody's getting an e-bike right now. We're going into 2025 with a whole new shift in the culture, which is amazing and I love it. It's sparking some new stuff. It's more exciting. I just had a ride out here in Las Vegas. And it was the Saran Mega Ride and that Mega Ride was so amazing. It was so fun. It just brought me back to when I used to ride my dirt bike or even my motorcycle on the big group ride outs. It was just so fun. Everybody with the same energy. Everybody's happy. Everybody's popping wheelies. Everybody's feeling the same thing. And moments like those is what helps keep the community together. And that's what we need. We need more of that, man. We need more ride outs. We need more giveaways. We need more companies sponsoring these events and making sure that we are taken care of and that we can provide for those who don't have as much. So that's really the goal. One person that really stands out a lot is One Way Vance. I've seen his videos on my feed for a long time and he just floats. I think he's like the no hand God. Like that's just what it is. Like Vegas pedal blocks is really good. He's got great combos on his bike as well. And he, again, Vegas pedal blocks is someone who took his skill from a pedal bike to an e-bike and he adapted very easily. That's the same boat that I'm in. I don't have crazy combos yet, but I have a lot of style. I'm just an aggressive rider. I like to drive back fast. I like to knee knock, do all my shit. Just be real swaggy and smooth with it. So that's just me. I like to float around. I like to swerve lane and lane. Whatever style you have on a pedal bike, you can definitely transfer over to a dirt bike or e-bike. It's so easy. It's not hard. Don't overthink it. Once you get comfortable with that tool that you're using, you can take that skill and transfer it over so fluidly and you're going to learn everything very fast. I want to put a foot brake on my bike immediately. I need a foot brake there right now. I wanted a foot brake. I told myself as soon as I get an e-bike, I won't even willy it until I get a foot brake. But guess what? I got an e-bike and the first thing I wanted to do was willy it. So I couldn't really wait. I was like, fuck that. Let me learn the handbrake. And it's good to learn the handbrake. Why not just learn the handbrake? It's another muscle to train when you're doing wheelies. Like, why not learn something new? Another great thing about e-bikes is, as you see, they're racing professionally now. They're doing the same thing that MX riders do on these 450s, 250s, 125s. And some of these e-bikes are smoking the fuck out of these people. I mean, look at the Stark Varg. I believe that bike has anywhere from 60 to 80 horsepower. I ain't gonna lie to y'all, that sounds crazy to me. When you're putting up an 80 horsepower bike next to a 450 and you're smoking them, that makes a statement on itself. And again, people wanna hate on these bikes, but they're fucking amazing, bro. I hope you guys like this video. If you do, please drop a like, drop a comment, and subscribe. And let me know how you guys feel about the e-bike moto scene right now. Let me know if you're a part of the pedal bike culture. Let me know if you like or dislike the e-bikes and why. And let me know if you guys think that e-bikes should be able to race against gas bikes or if it should be a different class, or if you think it's not fair. It's really the rider, because if you have all that power and you can't handle it, you're gonna crash and kill yourself. Appreciate y'all for tuning into this video. I'm going to catch you on the next one. I'm out.